Hi, do you know who they are? Do they look cute to you? Well, how about this? Do they still look cute to you? Meet Perry the Parasite, Varon the Virus, and Bast the Bacteria. They are called as pathogens or germs. These germs cause foodborne diseases. These diseases are caused by eating unsafe and unclean foods and water. Foods may contain germs that can transmit diseases. Generally, these foodborne diseases affect the digestive system. This system of the body is the responsible for taking in food. If the digestive system is infected, you can't eat and drink properly. If that happens, the more that you get sick. These diseases are mostly waterborne and foodborne. You get infected only when the disease agents get inside your body. Just like what Perry, Varon, and Bast did to Barangay Maginhawa, a peaceful barangay before these germs get inside their place. Hey! This is the favorite place of these germs. Can you see them? Well, did you know that you really cannot see them in real life unless you use a microscope? Anyway, let's zoom in so we can see them clearly. Ha! Here they are! And they seem so happy about what they did in the barangay. Hmm, it seems that they had lots of victim, eh? Let's see. Whoa! Bas the bacteria had three victims and they are Mary and Jasmine, Katrina and EJ. Why don't we look at its first victim? If you can still remember, we met them from last week's lesson. They are Mary and Jasmine and they were the first victim of Bas the bacteria. Their case was diarrhea and it is because of Bas the bacteria. The two girls suffered from stomachache vomiting and they alternately went to the restroom so that's how bus the bacteria got mary and jasmine now let's have our new case and she is katrina that day when she was preparing her food for lunch she noticed that she has no water available in the refrigerator that is why she decided to get the water directly from the faucet after that she drank the water from it Later that night, she was shocked from what was announced in the news. Good evening everyone! Public health officials in Barangay Maginhawa announced that their water source is infected by a bacteria. Residents are advised to not consume or use the water from the faucet until further notice. After several days, Katrina developed symptoms such as headache, diarrhea, high fever. She also feels weak and lost her appetite. She was rushed to the hospital. And the doctor said she has typhoid fever. She may have gotten the bacteria from the contaminated water in the faucet. That's how Katrina got infected by Bas the bacteria. Now, let's look at the last victim of Bas. EJ. This is EJ. Well, EJ came from another barangay but one day, he went to Barangay Maginhawa. He noticed that there are houses along the creek. He also noticed that some houses dumped their waste and trashes in the creek. He did not mind it because he was happy to play with his friends. They play and play and play until they get tired. On his way home, he saw vendors on the street near the creek. He suddenly felt hungry and thirsty, so he bought food and juice from the vendors. When he got home, he had severe stomachache. He also vomits and has watery stool. So he was rushed to the hospital. And the doctor said that he has cholera, a bacterial disease which usually causes severe diarrhea and dehydration. He may have gotten the bacteria from the juice and food he bought from the street vendors. The ingredients used may be contaminated with human waste. 
And that's how Basda bacteria got its victims. It is scary, right? Well, we still have Peri the Parasite and Varon the Virus. Let's continue with Peri the Parasite. These are the victims of Peri the Parasite, Dayan and Vic. This is Dayan. Dayan went to a camping trip with her friends. During the camping, she had to drink from a water fountain. The next day, she had stomach cramps, fever, and diarrhea. She was rushed to the hospital, and the doctor said she had amoebiasis. It is an infection in the intestines caused by amoeba. That's how Perry the Parasite got Diane. Now, let's have Vic and his family. One night, they had a heartily dinner. They bought their viands at a local restaurant near the place. Little did they know that one from the ingredients used in their meal was expired. After several hours, Vic, who was the most affected, developed vomiting, abdominal pain, fever, and watery diarrhea. He was rushed to the hospital, and the doctor said he was diagnosed of food poisoning. That's how Perry the Parasite got its victims. Now, let's go to the last germ which is Varon the Virus. Varon the Virus had one victim which is Layla. This is Layla. Layla likes to eat street foods, especially barbecue and hot dogs. Wherever she sees street food vendors, she would stop and buy. Little did she knew that one of the street vendors was infected with hepatitis A. One day, she is suffering from vomiting, fever, has dark yellow urine, and yellowish skin and eyes. She was rushed to the hospital and the doctor diagnosed her of hepatitis A. Her liver is inflamed due to viral infection. She got it from eating contaminated food. That's how they got their victims. It's kinda scary, right? But do you know that we can prevent that from happening to us? The question is, how can we prevent this from happening? Since foodborne diseases are usually acquired through the food we eat, we need to make sure that we are eating only safe and clean food and that's where food safety principles will work. The food safety principles are as follows. Watch the previous video entitled Food Safety Principles for this lesson. If everyone follows these food safety principles, then we will all be safe. Let's not share our food with germs. We should be the one enjoying and eating our healthy meal.